Number 12, Tom DeConing, our young, budding, up and coming star Ruckman. Um, 13 games. Costa, great to have you joining me for some previews, mate. Let's um let's talk a little bit about Tom DeConing. What's your what's your theory? What's your your overall feeling about where he's at and and what we're gonna see from him this year? Yeah, so he's only played 22 games. I think that's the big thing that I witnessed before recording these previews with you when I was doing a bit of research. That's not a lot for someone who's been in the been on our list for four years now. I mean, you've got players like Sam Walsh, who's played pretty much every game for us. So he's had that time to develop, whereas Tom's hasn't really had a good run at it. And I think that's been because of our lack of Ruckman. I mean, Cruiser was injured all the time. pito has been injured all the time. We brought Merck off in and he got injured straight away. So I'm hoping next season for Tom, he can kind of have that chop out. So he's not the sole Ruckman in the team. So he can have a consistent run at it because he's got a lot of development left in him. I mean, we've seen the his athleticism. He's such a big body. He's, he's grown into his body really well over the years and like, Against Nick Nat, he was doing better than the Pitto last season when, I, when we were watching that game. It was incredible. He's he matched it with the best ruckman, in my opinion, in the league. So his ball, his ball use needs a bit of work. His kicking for goals has been a bit inaccurate at times. But yeah, I think he's got the body for it. He's got the athleticism. I just really hope he gets a good run at it this year for his development. Yeah, mm. what are your thoughts? I mean, it's it's actually crazy. Like he's played or he's been, you know, in the system for four seasons. This will be year number five. I feel like I mean, it's just a theory. I don't really know if this is factual, but I feel like with with a player like Tom Ruckman, athletic, a guy that had you know some injury issues early in his career, and and to be honest, he's had them every season that he's played. There seems to have been some sort of an issue, but it seems to be the way it goes with um, the big fellas. Their bodies are just not as um, up to the rigors of of the game until a little later in their career. So I'm hoping. I mean, we got 13 games out of him in 2021. Um, then he had uh, some really nasty injuries, um, and some really, yeah, just, just nasty, I think we'll call them. And I guess the beauty of what we've got with him from my lens is that you know, we have Pito. So I think we've done it well. We're not throwing him into the deep end like what we did with, uh, if we look back to Matthew Cruiser and the way that we just threw him in straight away. I like what we're doing with him in having Pito there. I think they actually complement each other. Um, I guess for me, the... Have I got expectations for him this year? I think this might be the first year of a bit of expectation, just a little bit. I think last year was kind of like, can Tom play five, 10 games? Whereas this year I'm starting to think, can Tom play 15 to 18 games this year? And I think if that's the case, slowly but surely, there's going to have to be some sort of a level of expectation. I think the body still has a lot to come. Um, yeah. and the experience, but I think we're starting to move into that. I don't know if you call it phase two. I think we just finished phase one, you know, four seasons. Maybe this season might be the end of phase one and then we move into phase two for five years. But um, yeah, what I, I mean, what I love about him is he's he's athletic, but he's competitive and he's got yeah. something, right? Yeah, hundred percent. I was. That's exactly what I've written down. I've written down that if we get three quarters of a season out of him, that's, that's a win for my eyes because... As a ruckman, there's no hiding. Like as you can, yeah. you can be a defender playing a back pocket. You can be a forward playing a forward pocket. And if you have a bad game, it's kind of like whatever. There are there are other players around you to to support you. But as a ruckman, you are on. Like the statistics are showing throughout the entire game how many hitouts you've got. If you're getting beaten badly, the commentators are commentating on it. Like there's no hiding when you're a ruckman. So as a young player, that can be really scary and really stunt development, which is why I think that I agree with you completely. Sort of easing him into the team has been a lot more beneficial to his career than what we did to a cruiser whose body was banged up by the time he was 25, 26. So, yeah, I agree 100%. I think that the phase one, phase two thing is in his transition now. And I agree. I think there is a little bit of expectation on him just to to be able to be a Ruckman that we can rely on. I think that's yes. something that we haven't had for a long time. So if he can turn into that player where we know Pitto, uh, sorry, we know Tom is there every single week with maybe Pitto chopping out for him, that'll be huge for us as a team. Yeah, well, I guess my next question is, like for you and, and and you guys in the audience is, I mean, new coach, new system, don't know how it's going to look, don't know what they're going to do with the ruck situation. Are we going to look to play Tom and Pido? Are we looking to play one of them? Um, what would you do? Because Tom is definitely someone who I look at as a probably more of a Levi Casbolt role type player, but better and yeah. more athletic. Uh, more mobile. 
So do you think we play Tom as a ruckman solely number one and let him play 80% of the, the games in the ruck with a chop out? Or do you think we should have him and Pitto there? Well, I think in the short term, definitely Pitto needs to be there because Tom's body obviously hasn't withstood the, the pressure of AFL in the past four seasons. Um, but I think in the long term, I want Tom to be the sole ruckman. I want him to be that that Grundy for us or that that Gorn for us where he's maybe not to that level. I mean, you can't expect him to be the best ruckman in the AFL, but you can expect him to be that that reliable ruckman that we can count on week in, week out to provide a good performance there. Um, I don't rate Pitto anywhere but the ruck, though, which is something that's a bit of a contentious issue because like, you've got to think about it. If we've got Tom playing forward, rotating with Pitto, does Pitto then just go to the bench instead of mm. playing forward? Because, I mean, we can't play four talls. We can't have McGovern... I mean, he might play back. We can't have Kerno, Mackay, and then Pitto, who's kind of not a very good forward. Mm. So that, that's something that's a bit interesting to look at. But I think we can definitely rely on Tom as a third option there as a tall in the forward line. So definitely be rotating him in and out. We've seen Jack. Maybe he can get thrown in the ruck if one of them get injured. Like, th there's there's a lot of what-ifs when it comes to the ruck position, but I definitely can see him as reliable forward as well as a ruckman in the short term. Yeah, it's one of the few positions on the ground where you just can't have that much depth very few teams have more than three ruckmen on the list really we're definitely not one of them we've got i would say two these two pitto and, and tom and then obviously i guess murkov's on the list i'm not sure if he's ready to play senior footy just yet i know jack subani's been thrown in there but is that really a solution not sure um it's it's a real i think i've got more questions about this than than what i have answers uh, i'm just yeah. more hopeful for health for both of them. Um, Tom, obviously being the, you know, the younger athletic prospect, uh, he's got some serious tools, but he's, like I said before, he's got all this talent and all this skill, but he's got this determination as well. So I'm hoping to see a bit more of a maturity from him this season. Um, I still think the body's got plenty to fill out and that's just the way it is with, with Ruckman of, of his caliber. But I think by the end of 2022, I kind of want to be saying, you know, oh, wow, Tom really started, you know, coming into his own. Uh, what about you? What's, what is it for you at the end of the year? Well, what do you want to be saying? What is it, what is it going to take for Tom for you to say, yep, he took that next step? Yeah, I think, I think the consistency in games for me, I just think that he needs to be playing at least 18 games of this season. That's when I'll look back. I don't really care how he plays. I know that sounds bad because I don't think yeah. he's going to play terribly. I don't yep. think he's going to be a player because if he is, then he's not going to be playing, right? Like yep. if he gets 18 game season, it means that he's playing fairly well because like I said, you can't hide in the ruck. If he's having a bad games for four or five games in a row, he'll be dropped. I mean, that's that's where we're at as a club at this point. We can't be playing players who aren't performing to a standard. So I think if he gets 18 games out of the season and he starts fixing up his ball use a bit, going forward, kicking goals if, when he's playing forward, he's a little bit clumsy. I don't know if anyone else notices that, but he's not... I don't know, sometimes I think he's a bit clumsy on the ball, which is 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 fairly um, normal for Ruckman. They're not exactly midfielders where they can they've gotten their nimble and they can move around. But I think I think if he can start kicking goals going forward and then also playing consistent footy, that that's that's all I'm happy with because yeah. he's a young player and I just want him to see see him take a bit of a step. And I think playing consistent games is that step for me. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. What about you at home? What is next for Tom DeConing? Let us know in the comments below. Hey!